Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Explosion35 here with another review for you. Yes, but not just any review. Nope, today is for my sixth, my sixth day for my week of reviews to celebrate my first month on YouTube. But for today, we are going to be looking at Invisible Skin Lizard. Yes, I just picked this figure up like five minutes ago, guys. Um, oh man, I just dropped something. Sorry about that. Um, anyways, I just fig picked this figure figure up about five minutes ago at a local Toys R Us for like ten dollars and something. And with tax, that's ten dollars. And um, I paid a lot for this guy. And the reason why I paid a lot for this guy is because. I was looking at Walmart trying to find this guy, and I couldn't find him. And when I was at Toys R Us, I saw him there. I'm like, huh, I wonder if I should get this. And, I, you know, I just looking around, looking around. And, you know, because it was $10 compared to Walmart, $7, should I wait? But, you know, I you know, I took my chances, and I bought it because I was waiting for this guy. And I actually like him a lot. I, didn't, I wasn't going to think that I'd like him as much as I actually do like him. But I do like him a lot. Um, if we want to go over one of the least exciting parts about this figure, it has to be his little water gun squirter. You squirt water with this thing. What you do is you dip it in water, you press these buttons, and then it sucks up water, and then you squirt whatever you want to squirt with this. And you're going to ruin your figures if you try to squirt, squirt one. And I don't recommend squirting it, because then this will get moldy inside, you won't get all the water out, and... I'm collecting these figures to keep them, actually, as collectibles, more likely, because I really, um, liked, like, these, this series, so I'm collecting all of these, I'm trying. Um, but if we want to get off with the box for this guy, um, the box, very non-interesting, but as you can see on the box, he has a closed mouth right here. He doesn't have a closed mouth, which I would prefer, actually, a closed mouth. Just saying, it would have been a lot cooler. He looks really, really cool with a closed mouth right here. But as you can see, it says movie series, which the lizard never became invisible, but it actually is kind of cool. Um, as you can see, on the box again, like things change. This is black, um, but the hands actually are not invisible, which I like better when they are invisible because that gives it the invisibility thing. And it has a little Spider-Man here, and you can pause if you want to read this read-up. And let's get that out of our hands. And, um, let's review this guy. Um, if we want to go over articulation really quick, he is like the rest of the other Spider-Mans. Um, his head can only go up that much, down that much, and side to side. Um, arms can go up that high, do 360s, bend at one point at the elbow, and also rotate. Um, legs can go forward, bend at one point at the knee like the rest of the figures, they bend like that. And also rotates. And for the tail, he turns. And he doesn't go up or anything, which I would have liked. Um, but, um, I like this figure actually a lot. If we want to look at the invisibility-ness. Yes, very, very nice. And the paint and sculpt on this guy is actually better than I thought it would be from packaging. If you see, I want to get inside his mouth there, it's pink. So you can see that. See, his mouth is pink inside. With a nice sculpt everywhere. You can see the bump in his head. Um, His muscle tone hit go onto his back. Really, really cool, actually. It wasn't as... I didn't think I would like this guy as much as I actually do. And it is really, really cool of a figure to have. Um, if we want to do a quick... um, Oops, he's falling over here. Sorry, guys. Da, 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 da. Try to get him back up. Put his legs straight up. He is kind of hard to stand, but his tail helps him because you can move it and turn it. So you just set him up like so. I'll do a quick size comparison. I know in a review done by Sean Log, it says that the figure is actually smaller, but for my case, that is not the case actually. Um, for my figure, it is about the same size. So if I bring it closer for you, um, I'll do a side by side. And you can see the lizard is actually a little bit bigger. You know, I thought the, f the lizard would actually be a little bit 
um, shorter, like in Sean Long's review, but maybe he just hit his legs in a different way, you know. Maybe that, or maybe he just got a bad figure, um, but I happen to get a good one where it is in a very good size, um, you know, next to all the other guys. I'm probably going to put them next to the super po ultra posable one. If not, I don't put them next to that one. I will put them next to this one and get the regular lizard figure. Um, but that's here for my review of this guy. Um, I'm just going to say I really like this guy and I recommend him a lot. I give him, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. You know, the more I see this guy, the more I actually like it. You know, just saying, you know, nice sculpt and paint everywhere. Very, very nice of a figure. Um, so that's my review here for my sixth review out of out of my week. Tomorrow will be the ending of my reviews. I wonder what I'm gonna review, guys. Um, and that's Explosion Three to Five here. Saying thank you very much if you're watching this. I say thank you to you, you viewers out there. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. Please rate up, you know. Um, I just want to do a quick shout outs to Channel Traffic 130, Max T Dexter, Movie Man 66 100, Killer Mills 1, and Cats Music 01. That's what I said. Now go check them out. Bye. Poor Peter Parker.